adjust that. <laughs> Attack of the headphone cord. Apparently, yeah. I fucking tried to yank my head down. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? Give us some head. <laughs> if you think about it, you always give your headphones good head. Welcome back to Am I the Asshole. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Uh, it's that time clip. again. Yep. You know what's crazy? Mm. Um, is this the last one? This is the second to last one. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Well, yeah. now technically we'll have one that comes out after the next one that we record. I think this is the last one. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the calendar. Either way. Y'all know we're moving. Yeah. Um, and we are rapidly approaching yeah. our last in studio uh yeah, episode. Yeah, so as we did Oh no, this is the last one. Yeah, you're this totally This is right. the last yep. one. Yep. This is the last one that you'll see in this studio. Yeah, this is the very last yeah. episode you will see in this beautiful studio that we put together. We've got um, one more to record. Yes, but that so, that yeah. actually came out on Tuesday for yep. all of you. For us, we're re- recording that after this. Yep. For you, that came out on Tuesday. So go watch that. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's kind of nuts. I think th- that episode is going to be a good one. It's going to be a lot of memories, a lot of good uh, good talks and whatnot from the studio. So if you if you're mm-hmm. down to hear the uh, uh, the ether of TLS and, and understanding like the the history and of the studio and such. It's the a good lore. one to watch. Yep. Yeah, all the lore. The Ooh. lore. But this is our last one. Yep. We're going out with a bang. We chose some spicy ones for y'all. Spicy. As y'all saw with the thumbnail, this is all about first dates. First dates. So just like any first date, subscribe. Yep. Yeah. Click the button. And then also Okay. <clears throat> I, well, I mean, hey, yeah. you know, become a lousy listener by subscribing, but also mm. you can become a lousy member by joining for two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. That's it. Get some dope perks. Yep. So if you'd like to join, awesome. If you don't want to, totally fine. Subscribing is free, and we greatly appreciate everybody who does. Uh, because as of recording this, we are cranking through subs. It's crazy. Yeah. Like people mm-hmm. have been subbing left and right, and we appreciate. Also, we didn't give a shout out to this. Appreciate all the love over on TikTok. Oh yeah, huge love on TikTok. Y'all have been yeah. awesome. So thank you for all the love over there. Um, if you don't know what our TikTok is like, it's basically this segment yep. in short form. And it gives you a chance to actually have more of a, a, a commenting party, if you will. Like, granted, mm-hmm. we love the comments you drop in our YouTube uh, comments here. So on the video, drop your comments down below after these uh, these stories go up. But on TikTok, it's, it, there's no commentary from us. It's just the, the story. You get to have all the commentary. And we love reading it because y'all have some pretty interesting takes. Yep. Um, so we appreciate all the love over there on TikTok. But also, just like there, like here, subscribe. So Subscribe. Appreciate those of you who have. Like the video. Tell us you like what you see. Uh, let's talk about some first dates, Sam. But let's first. What's up, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday. I don't, why did Sketch blow up so much? <laughs> like, honestly. Like, it's entertaining. Don't get me wrong. But You know what I appreciate? Like, and before we RPS, what I appreciate about, Ske- appreciate about Sketch? uh uh-huh. Is that he is not like he's actually smart, yeah. And his character that he portrays is actually him, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not some facade, yeah. So it's just like a hyperbolized version of himself, kind correct. of. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And also, he's a Houston Texans fan, so he has a reason to be happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yep. Let's do this. All right. Did you win last time? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. Right now. <laughs> right now. No, by, by the way, congrats. Um. Yep. Yes, we yep. saw your comment. Yep. Congrats on that. Huge congrats. Massive, yep. massive placements there. Big dubs. Love hearing all the good news. Uh, Future Sam, put the comment right here so everyone can see yep. all the good, cool shit. Raina, we appreciate your love and we appreciate uh, you updating us as well. Congratulations on the massive finishes there. Yep. Um, wish you could go to Worlds. We'd love to hear on that as well. Hopefully something changes and you can go. So. That'd be dope. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Bitch. <Boom. laughs> All right. Well, uh, I froze. My up. power is gone. I. Is this what it feels like to be mortal? <laughs> Your back doesn't remind you of that every day. 
I didn't need to be called out like that. Um, <laughs> I'm out. right there with you, brother. <laughs> you just, yeah, just slice a humble pie right there, I guess, you know. I gave you the whole ass pie. <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> of the cream variety. Anyways, uh, read your first story here. Yep. Am I the asshole? I ditched a girl 40 minutes from her house on her first date. I know the title already sounds like I'm a major asshole, but there's a few more variables that need to be discussed before you make your decision. Also, this is a throwaway account for obvious reasons. No way. What is it? Oh, just rando throwing. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, say, I, was, I love uh, the name. Yeah. Uh, so I meet a girl on Tinder named quote unquote Kim, and we exchange a few messages before deciding to meet up for coffee. The date is going okay, although it was a bit boring. We grabbed our cup of Starbucks. I paid. We chatted for a bit and decided to drive to a cool little outdoor park to go for a walk. We drive around 30 minutes to this park, listen to a bit of music on the way, still getting to know each other a bit and everything was going fine. I parked, we got out of the car and walked a bit, still chatting, nothing deep, but the usual what do you do for work, hobbies, etc, etc. I had to take a leak, so I go to the bathroom and when I walked out, I noticed she was talking to a guy and he was being very flirty and when I ta- uh, walked up to them, he asked who I was and she responded, oh, he's just my friend, ha ha ha. And he said he wanted to grab her number to go out for a drink sometime. She was all too happy to give him the number, and they hug with a kiss on the cheek before he leaves. At this point, I was just over it. I wasn't that interested in her, and if she's the type of person to show interest in another guy and exchange info in front of me, I have no future with her. I decided to make up some random excuse to get away from her and just got in my car and drove home. I didn't want to have to deal with her company for a 40-minute drive and uh, was over it. Oh, well, I honestly feel like a bit of an asshole, but also feel it was just in this sense considering uh, it was just in a sense considering what happened damn damn (laughs) that sucks this reminds me a lot of the story um the drink one the drink one where someone sent a drink over to her and she's like oh yeah absolutely oh thank you like definitely some different connotation here though there's i mean actively giving and your number in front of a first date. Like that's super fucked up of her. (sighs) The question is, are you an asshole for leaving them there? Uh, I mean, things like Uber exist. Right. As I was about to say, like you (laughs) are right home with the guy from the park. Yeah, You're (laughs) two consenting adults. Who, in our day and age, have cell phones <laughs> and the ability to pull up everything on your cell phone at any given moment. Yep. That and also, I think, on a first date, it's wiser to both drive somewhere. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Just in case, you know, you need like, to get Like, meet there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I understand they meant to go get coffee. Yeah, but, like, yeah, I understand it's very traditional for, like, the, the guy to go pick up the lady. Yeah. You know, or at least one partner go pick up the other at this point. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, just meet at the restaurant for dinner. Because if it yeah. if it goes south, you can leave. Well, and I think they did, but then they decided to like go to a park or something like that. And the park just ended up being a little far away. That's yeah, so. pretty odd that they went that far away for a park, though. Yeah. But well, nonetheless, yeah. I I don't know. It's a massive slap in the face to be like, oh my god, yeah, that's my friend. <laughs> that's, <laughs> he has my number. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, I must say not the asshole. I think based off of that context, not the asshole. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, if it's disrespectful. It, it, it is extremely disrespectful. Like, I was almost going to say, like, everyone sucks, maybe. But. I mean, my thought is this. Like, it's your first date. Mm. You're getting to know each other. This is where I've talked about before, and I know you said the same thing about, like, if you need to make your intentions clear. Mm. If you're not feeling it, just say that. Yeah. You know, just be real about it. That way, no one wastes their time. But to just straight up, like, call him your friend, give the other dude your number. While you're clearly on a date, like yeah. you knew you're on a date. No. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, um, yeah, I'm going to say not the asshole. Not the asshole. Everyone else, however. Says everyone sucks. Correct. Which, I, I, like I said, I can kind of see that part, but let's see what's going on. Everyone sucks here. Although it's, an under, uh, it's understandable why you were angry. It's just not right to leave a woman 40 minutes from her home. This statement is true. It's also true for men. Yeah. Valid. Yeah, very true. Not the asshole. These comments are saying you're the asshole. Are they insane? I am a woman with no car. If I'm, I, if I'm lucky to get a date that is generous enough 
to buy me drinks and drive me for free. I can hold myself for a day and not openly flirt and call you just a friend. Ha ha ha. Even if I pay and drive, that doesn't give me the right to disrespect my date like that. She's a gold digger <laughs> and got what she deserves. Damn. <laughs> She's a gold digger. Way over down. Digs on me. Do, 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 do. She gives me money. Man, I'm in need. Don't worry about it. She definitely has other options. I'm sure she got a free ride to her home. Yo, Kanye just took over my body there. I just need <laughs> you to know that. Oh, man. Not the asshole at all. You don't flirt and exchange numbers with someone else on a date. I'm sure she can sort out transport home. Edit. Everyone saying he's the asshole for abandoning a woman in a park would be on the opposite side if this was op- if if yeah of this if OP was a woman and the date was a guy. I mean... This is this is where that double standard comes. What did you? Harley horse out of nowhere. Yikes! Ah, yeah. I need some potassium. 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 Oh, I didn't take my multivitamin this morning. And I drank this morning. You're just trying to hurt yourself. I'm just trying. My liver is just like pain without love. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be stretching. But I, I'm going to say this because we leg. do have a lot of ladies who watch the show. And, and I, I, y'all know that I love to give a good male take. Yep, and be contrarian and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing is that, that statement, especially with what we read on Reddit and just seeing in general, <clears throat> is so very true. Because if the shoe was on the other foot and OP was a woman. Oh, I'm and, gone. <laughs> <laughs> Not gone. And OP was a woman. I'm going to be over here for a bit. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Uh, and, and it was a dude who was giving his number to another chick. Yeah. Oh, the beacons would be lit. Gondor the banners will come to a, <laughs> yeah, the banners would be up. Good for you, woman, stay in your ground. But if a dude does it, not, nah, he's a fucking asshole. Yeah. You know, send, send him to the fucking flames. There is definitely a double standard, which is not cool. No, but. not at all. Um, yeah, no, no. Yeah. Not not the asshole here. Not the asshole. Uh, I'm sorry. Like I, I just I just can't. As contrarian as it sounds, I just can't agree. It, it, again, it comes down to this. It's not about a man or a woman. It's two consenting adults. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's if you're a dude date a dude, chick date a chick. If if you're trans dating trans, it doesn't matter who the fuck you are dating. To do that to somebody when you are clearly out on a date when they are paying for your drinks and hey, ass gas or grass ain't nobody riding for free, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> yeah. It's it's simple as like you don't do that. It's super disrespectful. Yeah. So not the asshole. Not the asshole. Next. Moving on. Am I the asshole for calling a girl who said she doesn't pay for first dates because she is traditional a hypocrite? We were just talking about this. <laughs> I wonder what our take will be. <laughs> as a disclaimer, I live in a pretty liberal area and most of my friends are pretty liberal. Okay. I was at a party and I got into a conversation with these group of people I know fairly well. One girl, Emily, was 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 talking about her last date and how she never knows whether to insist on splitting the bill or let the guy pay and how it's sometimes awkward. I said it was 2020 and although I don't mind paying for dates, the expectation that guys should always pay is stupid and regressive. Then this girl Jessica interrupted by and declared that she'd never paid for her first date and she was raised traditional and her da- dad always told her that if a guy is really serious about a girl he'll insist on paying for the date. So I kind of think this was backwards thinking especially since she was a she has a really good job, she's a pharmacist. I told her this in a joking manner. She just shrugged and said her parents raised her to care about education and to look after herself but they still had old fashioned values and that fortunately her boyfriend had the same values. So that's all fine. But since we were having a conversation, I told her she was a bit of a hypocrite talking about being traditional and having old fashioned values when she's biracial, her dad is black and her mom is white. And in the old fashioned days, they would have been allowed to get married and that she, her and her boyfriend probably wouldn't even be allowed to be together. Her boyfriend is Egyptian. She became visibly angry at me and accused me of being a subtle racist in front of everyone, which I think is a little ridiculous. I was just pointing out the contradiction in being old fashioned in one sense, but not in another. I told her this and she became more irate and said that she shouldn't have to lower her standards because she's black and that her boyfriend is fine with it. So I should leave her alone. I did drop it, but later I heard from mutual friends that she was pissed at me and was telling people I was a jerk. Her boyfriend, who I am also friends with, Text me later saying what a, I said wasn't cool and I should apologize to her. 
I didn't. I did not care about my explanation, or excuse me, he did not care about my explanation. Am I the asshole here? She literally is the one who brought up the topic, and now she's acting incredibly butthurt. Don't read the edit. So I thought it was going to go one way. It went the complete opposite. And so, uh, yeah, you're being an asshole there. <laughs> like that. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The question posed, am I the asshole for calling a girl who said she doesn't pay for first dates because she is traditional a hypocrite? Let's not get too... <laughs> into the details of like well just, technically the question said this like no no you're missing my point i just don't like how that was stated yeah i hate that that we are going to that title fits 10 percent of this entire thing yeah the other 90 percent is where you get the juice like I mean, sometimes that's how it happens I mean, without a yeah. doubt you're an asshole yeah um i do think everyone sucks here though because yeah, because I that. she and I understand we're getting this from one perspective, mm. but she she stood her ground and her thoughts and wasn't really it sounded like she was open to the thought of anything else. She was like, this is how I do it because I'm traditional and like, yeah, he should have stopped. <laughs> but like, I think everyone just had a shitty attitude through this whole thing with no matter what your opinion is, they just all yeah. had shitty attitudes and that's not never going to bode well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because, like, the girl interrupted the whole conversation and said, like, I've never paid, and I blah, blah, blah. But that's not a problem to be traditional in that sense. What is a problem is saying that race has something to do with it. Because that's what OP is definitely saying here. Oh, no, make no mistake, I agree with you entirely there. And then the whole, like, I think this is backwards, especially since she has a really good job. What does having a good job have anything to do with it, you know? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, so I guess we should also clarify, like, so if I were to go dating now, my value would simply be this. Like, you always hear the joke of, like, hey, am I getting some booty? Yeah. (laughs) No? Split. Like, (laughs) but to me, it's like, I think on your first date, you should split the bill regardless. Because a first date isn't... A serious matter. A first date is to get to know one another. Yeah. Are we compatible? You know? Okay. You know, banging on the first date, funny haha, but like when it comes to paying for shit, like just split it. Yeah. I mean, that'd be ideal. But I mean, there are some people that kind of like it more old fashioned. We'll call yeah. it and say traditional. I'm not trying to fucking court you to marry you in yeah. a week. Like, um, you know, this isn't an arranged marriage or anything. This is simply just. I want to. I like you. I think you're cool. I think you're hot. I'd like to get to know you some more to see if we're compatible. What dowry does your father offer? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is. I was about to say some shit. For, I was about to say okay. I was watching Game of Thrones for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> and I was about to say some heinous fucking shit. Be like, was. <laughs> Don't hate me if you haven't seen Game of Thrones. You won't understand. But it's like, have you bled yet? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like it's shit like that where it's mm-hmm. like. No, I don't. I wouldn't. Yeah, like I. This just yeah. This is an asshole. I yeah. I I want to say everyone sucks solely because she definitely was being a dick too. Yeah. But he is much more the asshole in this scenario because of all the shit that he didn't have to fucking say. Yeah. Like I'm gonna say asshole leaning everyone sucks because she was also a dick, but he definitely took the 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 dick cake, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we also don't know if this was a guy or a girl. Oh, fair. Yeah, yeah. no, I, yeah. No, good <laughs> so point. It could yeah. have been a girl. Yeah. My brain automatically put it into a dude's perspective. Okay, yeah. yeah. So either way, either he, way. she, or they, yeah. you were an asshole. Yeah. Edit. Yeah. Lol, okay, I get it. I'm the asshole. I'm going to apologize to her because everyone said asshole. Asshole. Yeah. And. I was going to be pretty open shut. I think (laughs) like you're the asshole holding traditional values does not automatically equate to holding old school racist beliefs. God, That's true. dude. I mean, yeah, a person can be a forward thinking progressive person and still believe in things like getting married before having kids or having a man pay on the first date. You don't have to agree with her, but jumping to a racially charged argument when it wasn't one in the first place makes you the asshole. Yeah, that a hundred percent. Like that is that exactly what we're saying is when you, when you look at the whole, the whole picture, the whole spectrum of it all, they were both assholes for how they were having the conversation. He became a much larger asshole by going, well, 
Oh. It, your, your parents would have gotten uh, crushed in the street, brother. Like, you know, it's it's yeah. not it's not cool. Like, and also, I, I, I want to go back to that point, too, if you could click that open real quick. I do like how they put this. And this also goes back to what we talked about before about being able to have differing beliefs, but being able to also have a conversation about it and yeah. be cool is a person can be a forward thinking, progressive person and still believe in things like getting married before having kids or having a man pay on the first date. Yeah. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. Some people might want to like, for instance, me and my wife, my wife was pregnant with our first son when we got married. Yeah. It was not a shotgun wedding. It just happened that she got pregnant right before we got married. Yeah. We were totally fine with that. It wasn't like, oh my God, everything's falling apart. Like, but some people would not fucking be okay with that. Yeah. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Just because they're not your beliefs does not mean they are bad beliefs. It, and I I know you've heard me say this. I stand firm and as long as it doesn't hurt me, you, or anyone else, fucking go for it. Yeah. Period. Yep. So. Yeah, I don't think we need to really read too many of these, honestly. Yeah, no. Yeah, so moving on. Am I the asshole? We, ch we chose some short ones today. Yeah. I was just saying, I didn't have to do any adjusting, so <laughs> make my editing life easier unless I fuck up sometime during this. Am I the asshole for only waiting 10 minutes for a first date? So, I'm a very punctual person, and timeliness is extremely important to me. Whenever I meet up with somebody, I always plan ahead and take into account things like traffic, potential bus delays, etc., so I can make sure to show up early. And this is a trait I actively look for in a partner as well. Yesterday, I was supposed to meet a girl at a coffee shop. She gave no indication that she was going to be late when we confirmed our plans earlier that evening. After 10 minutes passed, the scheduled time uh, went by, and she still hadn't contacted me. I texted her and let her know that I was heading home. She immediately wrote back and said that she was on her way and would be there in another 10 minutes. I said I was sorry, but it seemed that we weren't compatible and wished her the best of luck. My friends think I'm being way too picky and that everyone shows up a little late to dates. I think that if the other person isn't willing to make the effort to show up on time for a first date, then ideally you want to make the best possible first impression. It demonstrates a lack of respect and they're not worth my time. Am I the asshole? I think the edit's safe. Yeah. The edit's uh, safe. She did not give any sort of explanation. The text said verbatim, I'm on my way right now. Be there in 10. I'm going to say not the asshole. And it's yeah. exactly what I just said in mm. the last story. Yeah. And I love when we randomly click these stories, because these are all random, by the way. Yeah. And I love how it just flowed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. A first date is literally meant for you to figure out if you're compatible with that other person. That means your values as well. Time is a value yeah. in which people do hold in high regard. She didn't, she didn't have that respect. Like, if anything, like, if you're running late, like, if I'm even, like, just 30 seconds late, I'm going to be like, hey, I'm running a little late. Sorry, I'll be there mm -hmm. in a sec. She didn't do that. Yeah, if it's if it's a punctual yeah. situation, absolutely. You no. remain in contact, remain in strong communication. No. You need to be you need to be able to have that that back and forth. But I think like situations where it's more lax, like when when we record, you mm -hmm. know, when we go get Dutch, you'll say yeah. I'm here. I, I may not be ready to walk out the door as soon as you get here, but I'm like be in a sec, you that's know, fine. and yeah. I'll and I'll roll out. Like that's a much like easier, um, I guess less strict. Yeah. That's what I could say. Uh, time constraint. Whereas a first date, hey, let's get together at seven. Let's grab some grub. Let's you know, let's let's talk. Um, cool. I actually have a little story. Similar, not in the sense they were late, but I was ambushed. So after you moved to Texas, that first apartment I was living in. Yeah. Do you remember the the pizza place that was right down the street? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, how could I forget? <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I was uh, working at a cell phone place at the time, and a chick walks in, cutie, absolute cutie. She walks in, uh, comes over to me, and I'm helping her out, and we're talking back and forth. And, and uh, then we start make like, at one point I made, like, a nerdy remark, and she goes, you watch Doctor Who? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And she's like, oh, what? And then, like, when we found a thing to click on. Yeah. The conversation is going on. Mind you, I'm still working. I'm still being professional, helping her out, and and being very courteous. You know, um, I get her all taken care of. Everything's good. She's like, "Hey, you have a great day. It was a pleasure talking to you." She leaves. She comes back about an hour later. Walks in. I'm in the back, taking care of some business. She walks in and she goes, "Hey, 
um, is that the guy who's helping me still here? And they were like, yeah. And they called me out there and she goes, Hey, I just wanted to give you this. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And then left, I open it. It's her number. And I'm oh. like, all right, sick. Cool. I text her and we're texting back and forth. And I was like, Hey, you know, if you like, if you want, we can grab some drinks, uh, just, you know, get to know each other a bit more. I'm totally cool with that. I go to this pizza place because they hit the best drink selection, in my opinion. Yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, selection. And uh, that's when I find out that she was on the equestrian team at the college right next door mm. and brought her entire team with her. They were all at the booth adjacent to us watching me the whole time. <laughs> Needless to say, I left shortly after that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm sitting there and I'm drinking. And the way I figured it out was like she she pulled some fast shit. So they had showed up like 10 minutes or 20 minutes before I did. They took the booth. She left the building. I show up, come in and get a table. She then comes back in to my table, not telling me her friends are sitting right here. Damn. Yeah. And I'm sitting there and I'm drinking and I'm talking and I just happen to like do this. And I'm here, Karen comes, I'm hearing what she's saying. And I, yeah. I look over again and I keep seeing them like. <laughs> and like, I'm just, just kind of like, look at her. I'm like, hey, do you know them? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when she came clean. She was like, oh, they weren't supposed to be so like, like, you Obvious. know. Yeah. I get having backup, but that like to bring the whole, the whole fucking, fucking team. team dude. Like, yeah. Yikes. It was yeah. insane. Just a bunch of horse girls. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, but it, it was, it was, it was nuts. Yeah. But no, I, 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 yeah. Back to the, back to this, of course I, I digress. Um, not the asshole, not the asshole. I mean, yeah, that's if, if that's an important value to you and they make no effort to even say anything up until after you say, Hey, deuces you know mm-hmm. uh then yeah yeah uh, absolutely yeah. and everybody else is not the asshole and i just fucked up there god damn it <laughs> i jinxed myself yeah future sam gonna hate you yeah. sorry. <laughs> sorry future me uh i mean yeah this is pretty open shut right like not, not the asshole if you're late to the first date you send a text without being prompted being before you're late exactly yeah especially if you're gonna be like 20 minutes late no, everyone does not show up a little late to dates. Fashionably late is a concept that applies to dinner parties or other events where there will not be someone left waiting for you to arrive. Yeah. As, much like last night, I show up fashionably late. You yeah. know, like mm. Which that's, yeah. I mean, we had to get together. It wasn't anything. It was no big deal. Or everyone sucks here. What? Regardless, you're going to lose a lot of dates if you can't wait more than ten minutes for something as casual as coffee. Yeah. I mean, if that's something that's important to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just, I, I think it's pretty open shut, not Ooh. the asshole. Oh, you're the asshole. While punctuality is important to you, you gave this person zero chance to explain why they were running behind. What if she was driving and stuck in traffic, but didn't want to text and drive? Sometimes when you're running behind, take the extra time to text somebody. Take, uh, yeah, taking the extra time to text somebody makes you more late. So you just try to rush to get to your destination. Honestly, this person lucked out by not having to meet you. It's probably for the best. Jesus Christ. So here, and I, I'm opening this to the, the viewers right now, and I really want to hear your your take on this. Do we just lose the thought of the first date? Like, is the first date that important where we're expecting the rest of our lives to run off that first date, or is it just to get to know somebody? Because to me, again, a first date is literally just to get to know somebody. I'm not, I'm not going to this first date with wearing a tux going, okay, are you ready to go get married now? Like... Yeah, like that's a red flag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's an ick. Um, no, like I just don't. I like. Am I weird in saying that? Like, no. is a first date that serious where we're expecting like the rest of our lives to unfold in front of us in some sort of weird fucking Disney novel? Like, I think it's just classic Reddit. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Last up. Last one. Am I the asshole for telling a friend she acted like a slut for sleeping with a guy on the first date? Hell yeah. <laughs> Finishing this <off> strong. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Anna met a guy on Tinder who she really liked and went to his apartment and had sex on the first date. 
She told me about it after, and she had said before it happened that she didn't think he wanted anything serious. She wanted a relationship. She said she didn't tell her the other tell her other friend because she would call Anna a slut. I told her she deserved to do what felt right to her and what made her happy. This is about three weeks ago, and the guy kind of jumped ship. He was nice to Anna and texted her a few times after their hookup, but he made it pretty clear he didn't want a relationship and let it fizzle out. Anna has been heartbroken, and all she talks about is this guy. She, uh, how she wishes he'd come around, how she doesn't get why she isn't good enough for him, etc. I'm kind of sick of hearing about it. She's been upset longer than she'd even known him. I kind of snapped, and she was going on and on about why he didn't date her uh, or see her as a girlfriend material. And I said back, well, you didn't give him a good impression by sleeping with him after an hour after you met him. She asked what I meant, and I said, if you want to be seen like a girlfriend, you need to act like one. You act like a slut. She got really hurt and has been pulling away from me, and I can tell she's upset. I just couldn't take her complaining anymore when it was kind of obvious what the guy wanted going into this. Again, Emma the asshole for telling her friend she acted like a slut for sleeping with a guy on the first date. Oh, ah. Uh, first off, I'd like to say slut shaming is never cool. Oh, totally agree. This kind of feels like slut shaming. But at the same time, it's two friends having a conversation. So sometimes that can come off a little harsher. Like we've said some fucked up shit to each other, but we always know that it's a, out of a place of love. And, you know, usually. <laughs> um, you sure, brother? <laughs> <laughs> brother. Uh, I, I mean, I get being sick of it, but. Just distance yourself until they get over it. <laughs> <laughs> or pull your patented. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. While you're on the phone, you're doing something totally different. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my philosophy with that is 99% of people's problems, they just need to talk out loud to somebody to, about them. True. Right? They don't necessarily need insight. If they want insight, I'm happy to provide. But... That's why one of my favorite questions to yeah. ask, mm. you want me to be honest or consoling? Yep. Mm -hmm. This is two very different things. Yep. You want me to be honest, I'll give you insight. Yep. You want me to be consoling? Okay, tell me what the problem is. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And so, yeah, it's, it's along those same lines. Yeah, it's sometimes you just got to say, mm-hmm. Oh, really? Damn. That's crazy. That's I'm crazy. sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to say asshole here because they... At this point, they're just being frustrated that their friend's complaining about it. And then jumping straight to, you acted like a slut. There's nothing wrong with a one-night stand if that's what you are expecting of it. Which he, it sounds like he might have made his intentions clear with that. But she thought she can get more out of it. But that's still not her fault, you know. Uh, okay. There's a couple things that come to mind with this. One, it feels like there's a more deep rooted situation with this. Like this isn't the first time this has happened, or she's been like desperately trying to find a good relationship, and this happened. Yeah, kind of situation. Two, I want to know how good of friends they are, because to your point, yeah, like they could have just been having. You've a called me a yeah. slut before, and I'm just like, <laughs> you're right. Like, granted different personalities but also like friends can call each other sluts and yeah. not be upset about it yeah yeah i the way she said it definitely sounds like in context she was trying to be an asshole about it yeah but i mean the <clears throat> thing is to your point too he made his intentions pretty clear that's what it sounds like yeah i mean yeah yeah uh let's see she told me about it after she said uh she had said before it happened that she didn't think he wanted anything serious she wanted a relationship. So I we, we're speculating a little bit there, but yeah, I, I mean, do. I do want to say this uh, from my perspective. There is in, and I've said this time and time again, one of the most, one of the strongest compatibilities you can have with someone is a sexual compatibility. Yeah. If you're not sexually compatible with your partner, it, it makes 
you're it makes your relationship so much more difficult. Yeah. Especially when someone like it, God forbid someone's like hyper sexually active and the other is just completely stagnant. Yeah. You know, like, you know, and there's nothing wrong with either one, mm-hmm. I mind you, but if you have a, that kind of combination, someone's gonna get really upset really fast. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with sleeping on the first date. I do think like, it sounds like you're not good enough friends to be calling your friend a slut. Yeah. Cause I don't think, I, I don't think you would have come at it with that connotation of being an asshole like that. You would have said it with a much more soft spoken mentality, knowing that your friend's probably going through some mental shit. Yeah. Wanting, wanting to actually find a good relationship. Um, and I don't, I, th- this feels a lot more like slut shaming because of that. Like it yeah. feels like you, you don't know this individual as well as you thought you knew this individual and you chose to take it an extra step by calling her a slut when you did not have the pass, if you will, to do that. Yeah. Um, well, they even said I kind of snapped and she was going on and on about why he didn't date her, or see her as a girlfriend material. And I said back, well, you didn't give him a good impression by sleeping with him an hour after you met him. That's yeah. not necessarily a, an impression thing, you know? Yeah. I mean, I understand there's really like very abrasive individuals who just are ag- aggressively honest, yeah. but there's a time and place. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Asshole. I think asshole. Yeah. I don't think and everyone else said asshole. Yeah. Which that I'm not surprised at all. I'm going to. I assume it's going to be like, what? You slut shamed her? No way. You're a shitty person. Well, I can already see from the first comment, you're the asshole. Seriously, slut oh, shaming? Yeah, I fucking called that one. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. It's her body and her choice. So what if she had sex with him? Just because you know about it doesn't mean uh, doesn't make it your business to judge. I'm really glad you're not my friend. I can tell you that you have zero. I can tell that you have zero respect for other people's dis- uh, decisions unless they match up with your own ideology. There are way better ways to handle this. Instead, you chose to be a caddy and nasty. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm marrying the chick I met on Tinder and slept with on the first date. You're the asshole. <laughs> there you go. You're the asshole, lol. You could have just admitted that you didn't have the mental space to listen to her struggling with this guy. Also true. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. You're the asshole. You slut shame your good friend. I don't even know their good friend. Do you live in the 50s or something? Withholding sex does not automatically make someone more or less dateable. Facts. Yeah. I think we're going to see a lot. That's one thing I'll say. And I, I don't know if we ever talked about it, but I, I like I especially hearing from friends who have dated recently and who have been, you know, who bang it out on the first date. Like you, you can find a much stronger connection sometimes if, by, by just having sex on the first date. Yeah. Like, like you could sit there and talk and be like, hey, so tell me about yourself, how much job, your, 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 your future. What are you, what are your goals? That kind of thing. And then you go back and after two hours of, you know, some sweaty horizontal tango, you, you're like, damn, I actually, yeah, we connect on a deep level. Okay, cool. Yeah. Shit. Hey, see you tomorrow. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, or, or wake up next morning, cup of coffee. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes that's how it works. Sometimes. Like, that connection is much stronger than a lot of people want to lead on to. And, and I feel like we're at a day and age where a lot more people are open to that. Yeah. A lot more old heads technically really aren't because of the traditional mindset, but that's okay. You know, everyone's got their mindset. Um, you can't, you can't judge people based on that. You know, I think that this situation where, you know, this person OP is just not a good friend. No. Yeah. Kind of an asshole there. Yeah. Hopefully they learn from it. Yep. But. Let us know what you think in the comments. Yep. Uh, while you're there, if you haven't yet subscribe, like the video, you can subscribe by clicking the button behind me. It's right. And over then there. said it's right over there. Just click it. There's a video too. Yep. Bye. <laughs>